Hello students, we all know that the biggest ships in the world weigh hundreds and thousands of tons. Have you ever wondered why a metal coin sinks in the water but large ships made up of the same metal do not? What is it that stops the ship from sinking? Well, to answer this question, we need to understand Archimedes principle. Archimedes principle states that any body partly or fully immersed in a fluid experiences an upward force called the buoyant force equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by it. This buoyant force is essential to make any object float. Let's go into the details. When you place a wooden block in a tub, you see the water level rising. That is, the water gets displaced. As soon as you take the block out, the water rushes in to fill that place of the block. This simply shows that the amount of water displaced by the block is equal to the volume of its submerged part. Thus, when any object is partially or fully immersed in the fluid, it displaces the amount of the fluid equal to the volume of its submerged portion. Remember the Archimedes principle. It talks about the weight of the displaced water and not the volume. So, in order to calculate the weight of the water displaced by the block, we need to measure the volume of the water displaced or calculate the volume of the submerged part of the block mathematically. Then by multiplying that volume with the density of water, we get the weight of the displaced water. This weight of the displaced water is equal to the upward force or the buoyant force acting on the block. When the upward force is equal, or greater than the weight of the block, the block will float. This means the block needs to displace enough water to counter its weight and stay afloat. Thus, we can say that to stay afloat, the ship needs to displace enough water to counter its own weight. A ship is constructed in such a way that a large portion of the ship is kept hollow from inside that maintains its density less than the water density. A ship has a long and wide base due to which the amount and the weight of the water displaced by it increases. As the weight of the displaced water increases, the buoyant force that is the upward force exerted by the water increases, making the ship float. However, if the weight of the ship increases due to certain events like the inflow of water inside the ship compartment as happened in the case of Titanic or overloading of the cargo, the ship will sink. There are markings at the lower part of the ship that helps the crew to understand its load carrying capacity. When the ship is submerged till this mark, this means it is carrying the maximum load. Now, what about the coin? The displaced water around a coin weighs less than the coin and so the coin sinks. Let's have a look at another interesting use of Archimedes principle in brief. Submarines use the same principle to move up and down in the sea. Inside the submarine, there is a water compartment filled with water. The average density of the submarine is varied by varying the water level in the compartment. This helps the submarine to come up on the surface or dive deep in the sea accordingly. I hope you have understood the concept. Thank you. Happy learning.